There's the traditional, just where everybody kind of comes together. It's either cafes or bars, you know, that's like every revolution started in like a cafe or a bar. My name is Jeremy Buck. I run the bar program. I'm the owner. I uh, hired the executive chef uh, to do kind of everything. Did everything from the construction while we started to running and training the staff to daily operations. The restaurant's Coterie. It's located in Charleston, South Carolina, downtown. A Coterie is a grouping of like-minded people with shared interests and goals. Uh, so our point is kind of to bring together a large number of food and beverage people, both for food and drinks with all their own influences and kind of meshing together to become one and to be able to share that with the community. So we're bringing in Indian food, but also with a Charleston slant and Charleston ingredients that also cross over to Indian, but making it nice and approachable, not just overbearingly one thing. The cocktail program will be the same thing of bringing like-minded people from friends in Hong Kong and New York and California and all over the place to contribute to the menu while we also do our own menu here and just again with the theme of kind of everybody kind of coming together and having a good time. One of the drinks that I'm going to make is with the, the La Colombe coffee that you guys had sent in and it's one of their like dark roasts because it's a, a play on an Irish coffee but it's a Vietnamese kind of coffee and so the Vietnamese coffee is like really big bold and strong which is the same with this this one from La Colombe. So it's an Irish coffee but it has like egg in, in the cream and whipped that way uh, and then some Japanese sweet plum uh, in there to balance everything out, and obviously whiskey, because it's delicious. I think especially now that like there's even more similarity between like chefs and bartenders. Uh, I mean, we're using like a lot of the same stuff that they're using in the kitchen to even just do like the syrups or infusions or whatever else that we're making. More so it's about building the flavors, and chefs are the same thing, you know, it's adding and editing and taking up and down and making sure the balance of flavors is where you want it. And that's where I think it's pretty much exactly like chef. I actually compare bartending a little bit more to pastry chef because you have to be that specific. Like we're measuring everything for the consistency and to make sure that balance is there. When you're dealing with like a teaspoon or a quarter of an ounce in like a two ounce beverage, you've got to have that dialed in each time. Myself and my bartending team and whoever else we're using, you have to respect that we put a lot of time and thought into the specific amounts and combinations in each drink. So for our signature menu, we're not going to change that. That is thought out and specifically that way. But we're more than happy to make people a drink that they like. If there's something on there that they liked part of and didn't like, we can work with them and find something that they will like and make something else for them. To me, my favorite drink to make is more about the other person. It's more about the patron and figuring out what they like and what, what's going to impress them. Like Sometimes it's really fun to do a bespoke thing where I just like ask them about memories and stuff like that and then just make them something. And to like see their like shock and amazement and amusement of what you create with things that they didn't say but was in their mind is kind of just a really fun like interaction to go through.